What's up? This is Greg Helbeck and welcome to this week's weekly success content where I share with you not necessarily real estate advice, even though people are you know familiar with me as a real estate investor. I share with you weekly success content that you can use to hopefully make you a more productive, better person, which ultimately will make you better at real estate investing if that's what your heart desires, right? So today I'm going to talk about the last few videos I was mentioning the uh, whole self-image, what is your self-image, why is it important, etc. So here I'm going to talk about a subset of the self-image. And by the way, if you get value from this video, if you could subscribe to my channel and like the video, it would really mean a lot to me. So I want to talk about keeping personal commitments with yourself. That's right, not someone else, yourself, right? If you want to build up your self-image and you want to really increase your thermostat, as Ed Milet says, you got to get good at getting in the habit of making and keeping promises with yourself. I'll say that again. You want to make and keep personal promises with yourself. What could that look like? Getting up when you say you're going to get up, or what I do, getting up before a certain time. That's how I do it. Doing what you say you're going to do when it comes to working out. Reading when you say you're going to read. Calling the person back when you say you're going to call them, right? Which is more something with, with someone else. But, you know, not eating dessert when you said you're not eating dessert. Not eating the junk food when you say you're not going to eat junk food. Basically, making a definitive commitment with yourself. And then getting in the habit, as Ed Milet says, of keeping the promises you make to yourself. That, in my opinion, and by doing this, listening to Ed, who's a great guy, that's how you build your self-confidence. You, and what happens is you build up a reputation with yourself that you are someone who does what they say they're going to do with themselves. Therefore, you're going to be able to be somebody who can do what they say they're going to do to others, right? But it starts with you. It doesn't start with others. You get in the habit of keeping promises you make to yourself it's going to be a lot easier to keep the promises you make to other people because you'll trust yourself because you know when you say you're going to do something, you're going to do it because you're in the habit of doing it with yourself. Therefore, it'll make you do it with others. So that's a straight up applicable, uh, uh, I was like stuttering there, applicable cheat code to working on your self-image. If you want to increase your self-image, and by the way, this is from Ed Milet. I didn't make this up. I'm sure he learned this from somebody else. A lot of it comes from Psycho Cybernetics book and also this guy, Jason Selk wrote a good book called Organized Tomorrow Today, OTT. Great book, yellow book on Amazon. Check it out. Anyway, shameless plug there. Um, the best way to build self-confidence and work on your self-image is to get in the habit of keeping the promises you made to yourself. So here's an action for you watching this video if you're you know still here watching the video. Set a little goal to get in the habit of making a promise and keeping it and rinsing and repeating that. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Make up a promise that you can do with yourself and keep that promise so you can build momentum. And that's how you start to raise that self-image. Because if you think about it, if you get in the habit of getting up before a certain time, going to the gym every day, reading the book you said you were going to read or a few pages of the book every day or you know whatever, the, making the calls you're supposed to make and you stack that up day over day over day over day over day, week over week over week, month over month, year over year, you're going to be unstoppable. You're going to be a momentum forced you're going to be like a momentum machine just freaking freaking winning and winning and keeping those promises you made to yourself so that's how you really increase your self-image by keeping the promises you make to yourself i hope you got value from this video and if you did share it with somebody else who might need to see this subscribe to my channel like the video and i'll see you on the next one peace